Good morning and welcome to the channel's video this week. So we're heading out into the woods. I've got a bit of a project I've been meaning to get done for a few weeks. And uh, this video is all about making uh, an outdoor shelter that I can use with me a uh, Anave Frontier stove. So I've got about 10 minute walk down to where I want to set up and uh, I'll show you what it's all about. Right then, so this video really is all about making a, um, an outdoor shelter that I can use with the Anave stove. Um, you know, you've seen many of my videos before and I use this stove a lot and, and I want to carry on using it throughout the winter. Um, and I've had this idea in my mind for a good couple of years now and I've never really got around to do it. So basically what I've done is I've brought this 3x3 canvas waterproof tarp. So this tarp here, this was about £43 off eBay. Um, it's a really, really good quality. It's not lightweight, it is heavy, um, but it does fit quite nicely on the top of the LK35 at present. But with a couple of the modifications that I want to do to it, that's not going to fit so well on top of that, but we'll see how that goes. Um, other things about the tarp, the, the tie-outs on the tarp are not set up as you would find a standard 3x3 um, sort of camping tarp, like a DD Hammocks tarp. So uh, the tie-outs are not in the same position, so I've had to I've had to stitch in some loops to be able to utilize this tarp in the sort of method that I want to do it. The main method I want to use this tarp for is to string it between two trees, um, have a slope in back and hold the front out and be able to have the uh, frontier stove underneath that tarp. But then I also want to be able to use it where I can bring the front right down and almost use it like a tent really. So before we stick in the cowling, we've got to just stick it up and uh, make sure we get the cowling in the right place. So this tarp here, this is really, really heavy duty. It's not lightweight. I've had to adjust it in a few ways um, just to make to be able to use it how I want to use it. But uh, what we'll do is I'll string this up between the trees and I'll show you what I've had to adjust. the ridge line through this loop that I've sewn on here and I'm just going to pass this underneath the tarp and then through the other loop and then just bring the tarp back down and then this is going around the tree and then this soft shackle is going to go onto the uh, onto the loop on the tarp and then what I do is just loop that through the main line so you're actually connecting the loop through the main line and through the loop on there and then that's one side of the tarp done alright and then over on the other side we'll just drag the tarp sort of get that central between the two trees where I want it and then this line is just coming around the tree and then it's this soft shackle on the prusik that is going back on the tarp here and looped over the line as well so all we need to do now is just tighten up the prusik and that's going to pull right so there we have it we've got the tarp set up between the two trees here that's roughly about the height i want to have it because now what I want to be able to do 
is to fix these out. You, I need to find some sticks for this. But I've just got to peg the back down. So we'll just peg the back of the tarp down. And then we'll look at um, suspending the front. Right, I'm thinking this is roughly where I want it to be really. So this is about <coughs> 50 centimetres in from the outside edge there and probably about the same on, on the other side there as well. What I don't want is, if it's absolutely dreadful weather, I don't want it the water to come in really in this, this cooking area. So I'm protected from the back here. If need be, what I can do is I can actually drop the front down and tie off on the other two, uh, two eyelets inside there. But looking at the way that this tarp is set out with these eyelets, I think what I'm going to have to do is actually tie in loops in the same position as what you'd find on a standard 3x3 camping tarp because I'm not going to be able to drop the front down um, if the weather's coming in from this way. So looking at this, I've got a good area along the back here that I can sleep against. Um, I can basically have the, the stove here as well. All right, so measuring this up, I've had to come in a little bit further here uh, just by measuring it up on the side that's down here because I don't want that to be too close to the back of the canvas if I need to drop this side down to make like a tent shape. So what we'll do is we'll get out the cowling and uh, we'll look at attaching that onto the canvas. So what we've got here is we've got a flue um, a cowling here. This is supplied by Annabelle. You can get this off their website here. So this is a standard flue uh, for the Frontier stove. So you've basically got a, um, a thermal sort of uh, rubber art silicone sort of um, cowling on the top there. And then you've got this metal ring and it's attached by uh, six um, lock nuts on the side. So what I'm going to do is just uh, take this all apart, get the ring out, and then I'm just going to measure this up on the canvas up there. And uh, I'll show you how we're going to fit this. So I'm just going to use a pencil and I'm just going to mark roughly where that is using the pencil and then we can then take that down right so what we'll do now is we'll take the washer and we'll just sort of centralize that in the uh, the area where we've got the uh, the pencil marking for the flue so we know roughly where that's going to go right and then using a pencil I'm just going to mark all of the holes on the washer so we know where to stick the holes and then just using a tent peg I'm just going to push through one of the holes first and then what we'll do is we use one of the bolts and then we'll fix that onto the flashing itself just to hold the, uh, the washer in place and then using the two spanners we're just going to tighten that one up and then we can push the holes through the other five holes and then we can get that all tightened up and locked into place and then just using a pair of scissors I'm just going to cut towards the outside of the washer cut this piece of uh, canvas out from inside the washer here and then I'll just use a knife just to trim off the edges once that's done. Right, the only thing we've got left to do, and that's just adjust the uh, the flashing, because this is a little bit small for the uh, flue of the Frontier stove. So just around the first rib, we're just going to cut all the way around, and that will give us the correct diameter for the flue. Right, and there we have it. So that will easily fit through the flash in there and connect back down to the other flue section. Right, so there we have it. So we've just got one final section just to stick up. And using a canvas tarp like this is always good to use a spark arrester. So we'll just fit the spark arrester to this section 
and then fit that section into that and we're all done. Right, so there we go, all set up. Uh, so I like the position that this is in here. So what I'm going to do is just uh, get myself set up and uh, get some breakfast and coffee on the go. Please remember that there's a subscriber giveaway happening soon, so please keep an eye out for all three of these items. If you find three of these items hidden as an Easter egg in an up and coming video, please comment in that video, real term at, I want it, and that'll give you a chance to win those items. Thanks for watching today's video, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, please give it a go if you've got any comments about this or anything that you think that I could better in this little setup, please stick it in the comments below. If you fancy having a go at making a little shelter like this, I'll put all of the items that you're going to need in the description below, from the 3x3 tarp, the, the flashing kit, uh, the paracord and all the other bits, and a little method will be in the description below as well. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please, as always, hit the subscribe button just there, and hit the bell notification so you can get notified when the next video comes out. And just remember, we've got the subscriber giveaway coming soon, so it, it might be in handy just to hit the bell notification. Uh, and as always, there's a couple of videos here just for you to take a look at. And um, next week, we're out to the Lake District, so uh, next video will be from the Lake District. So we shall see you soon.